I'm Justin Jedlicka. I'm 33 years old, and I'm a stay-at-home husband. I've had 132 cosmetic procedures. Nose job, lips, cheeks, forehead, pec implants, bicep implants, tricep implants, <laughs> buttock augmentation. <laughs> I don't know what else I forgot. In all honesty, if I could do my own surgeries, I would. And in fact, I've started doing some of my procedures half awake now. They hate it because I'm like, move that up a little more. <laughs> Turn this a little way that. They, they don't really enjoy me being awake to critique their work. But it's the only way to sort of get exactly what you want. I think of plastic surgery as art. If everybody started doing what I was doing, I would want to change everything again. Because I like setting myself apart and looking like my own individual and not being mistaken for anyone. So I've customized a lot of my body implants. It sort of just initially started with my pec implants. The doctor told me that that was possible. And then I took tours at the different implant manufacturing companies. So now I think I'm really overly knowledgeable, especially compared to a lot of plastic surgeons. Right now I'm working on abdominal implants two-piece quad implants, two-piece calf implants, and lat implants, the wings on the back. I think that that field is just underdeveloped. And so it's fun for me to be able to make and create things that haven't been done out there and to sort of disprove what a lot of these doctors have told me over the years, never gonna look right, you know, you're gonna hurt yourself doing this. I always tell them, you know, nobody who's ever done anything great in their life didn't have to take a risk. <laughs> So what are you planning on doing while you're out here? Any procedures? Yeah, well, always. I've had 132 cosmetic procedures. I do enjoy this as an artistic expression. You know, I'm trying to work on those abdominal implants. And how is that coming along? I've changed my mind on it about four times already. Go for it. But just think about it in the long run if you really want it done. I really want it want done, I just don't want it to come out messed up. So that's why I keep reworking those implants. And yeah, like your arms, you don't want to have to keep on doing it like five times and cut your stomach open. There's like a year of my life trying to get that thing right. I'm kind of building a Superman suit, I'm just instead of fabric, I'm using skin and muscle. Well, I'm gonna see two more doctors. And so I'm gonna kind of pick their brain a little bit and see. And what do you feel, like it's gonna get done or it's not? I'm just gonna see if they're even interested in doing it. Cause you know, nobody's done it before. I'm really hoping that Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro are going to be open to do my abdominal implants. I'm trying to make it just through like really low incisions cause I don't want people to see it. But I'm just gonna do it subcutaneous under the skin. People turning me down is just them being closed minded. And if the doctors can't see what it is I'm trying to achieve and don't want to be a part of it, I kind of think of it as their loss. I've had a couple doctors tell me, no, not interested. And what does your mom you say know, about it? It's hard for me to find someone who's willing to work in tandem. Thank you. Of course. Appreciate it. I don't even know how many doctors I've seen. <laughs> There's an arsenal of doctors that I've seen. I don't know, hopefully my list will continue. I mean, I don't mind being a guinea pig, but a lot of them are afraid it's not going to come out right. So I just have to chit chat with them and see if they're even going to be open your, to it. Now, if you get done, what are you going to What else going to get done as backup? Well, you know, I always have a backup plan. So if That's I can't do the stomach, I was planning on the quads, the calves, and the lats. And I already have them all templated. And how long is that healing process? For each one separate. Well, two so weeks. Here. You two <laughs> weeks. Average is like a month. Two weeks as long as it comes out 90% right, well, or else we're going to go back. <laughs> well, let's hope you don't get that. Go back. We can pray. I just have to do a lot of pre-planning. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> You're so stupid. We don't usually make house calls, but in this case, we're going to make an exception. Everybody, let's get in the pool. <laughs> Terry really wanted us to go see Justin. Justin is different. He's got some interesting things to show us. Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus. The home of the Greek gods. Like me. Since when are you a Greek god? I'm a Lebanese god. We're there to help Justin with any problems he's having. And maybe even try to talk him out of future surgeries. Hello. Hello. Welcome. How are you for Justin? Yes. Thank you. Come on in. Thank you. Right. He'll be right down. Thanks. I'm gonna kill you. You're probably having a porno upstairs or something. Oh my God. I'll be just laying out at the pool, hanging out. I had a bunch of thoughts running through my head. Number one, I want to kill Terry. 
Two, I knew this was the wrong thing to do. And what are we doing? What's going on in this house that there's someone answering the door in his underwear? A manservant comes down in his underwear. Is this underwear? Um, Just lay it down. looked like underwear to me. He's had that thing in the front, you know, where you have to go. I didn't look that bathroom. closely. Hi, Dr. Justin. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you, Justin. Terry DeBrill. Hi. Nice to meet I love you. to meet you as well. When I saw Justin, I didn't know what to make of him. I didn't know whether he was real or not. I was sort of looking for the wires and the buttons or the price tag. My reason for contacting you is because I was looking for a surgeon to help me in my quest to rebuild and modify my body. They were so sweet to come up actually to my house and meet me. It was like, very cool. I've made me feel very special. So um, I've come up with some new plans for quadricep implants, calf implants, and lat implants. You devised these? Yeah, yeah I, I did them myself. I've never seen anybody design their own plastic surgery like that. I studied up on the body and made the sketches and found a doctor that was willing to kind of let me do my own thing. And I told him, I don't want you to be creative. Just put them where I tell you. So my idea with, with my quad implants was going to be that this piece, so it would be one piece. So it would be subfascial. We don't have to go submuscular. He's both Frankenstein and Dr. Frankenstein. He's his own creation. I originally had bicep and tricep implants. The, the incision's all underarm. This is only about two and a half, three months old. Really? And this incision's been opened five times. So you have one, two, three, four implants oh, one, here. two, three, three four, four five. five. So 10 on the arms and then the pec implants. Can I see that? Oh, for sure. So that was also done through underarm incision. People always think they're a lot larger than they are. I'm just so lean. Yeah, you but are lean. The first thought that came to my mind when I saw Justin, he looked like a cartoon character. I, I sort of look like plastic surgeons, like glorified tailors. So, I mean, you're doing a lot of a, a lot of suturing. You're making pockets. No, and I, but I say it with all respect. Too much studying, too much work to be called a tailor. Not say anything bad about a tailor, but what I do, I don't think is tailor. Have you had any complications from any of this? Nothing that wasn't minor and or fixable. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I mean, the doctors I've chosen, I research. But you know that plastic surgery procedures have a five to 15% complication rate, no matter who does it. But them. I think, don't you think it's because people who have cosmetic procedures think that this is something that can be taken in a light manner and it's not like a surgery because they don't think about it. I like Justin. I want him to be healthy and happy, but he's now entering into the bizarre world of implants that can result in major life-threatening complications. I think this is amazing. I think you're amazing, but I'm just not sure that <laughs> is up our alley at this point. What we're doing now is taking people who have had really bad problems, and we're trying to go from a disaster to normal. Thank you. So I, it was I appreciate it. I'm shocked they said no to me. It's all well and good that he really wants to work on people just for reconstructive purposes. But it's a little bit of a yawn to me. Have a good afternoon. Bye bye, you too. Bye, bye gentlemen. Thank you. Sure. Albert. I'm see you for a little while. I know. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah? I'm all fully healed up and ready, you are? To, ready to rock. OK. Can I take a look to see where yeah. we're at? This experience has been way different from my last surgery. I'm not in Mexico, so I really feel like I'm at home and around people who actually care. OK, so here's the deal. I'm going to bring in a consultant who okay. really knows a ton about body implants. I will just warn you, he's a little different. Uh, here he is. Hi. Hey. Nice to meet you. Oh. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is Justin, you guys. It's me. I'm back. <laughs> he really is one of the foremost experts on implants of all for Pioneer of body implants. He really is. It's true. You may be thinking I'm crazy for bringing Justin in, but the truth is there's no one in the world who spent more time thinking about and creating safe and realistic looking implants. The goal here, obviously, is Even to match the right side with the left. What I need you for is to help me figure out what kind of implant to put in here. Well, maybe we can mark him up. Let's yeah. do it. It's like tailoring, right? I sort of look like plastic surgeons, like glorified tailors. Right, I'm just your tailor. <laughs> huh? Hopefully, I'm a glorified assistant to the glorified tailors. I mean, I personally handcrafted 
17 implants in my body. And uh, to my knowledge, there's nobody else in the world who's done that. I mean, but this is where the peak of his fullness is, is right, right. here, right? Right. So this is where we're gonna do the same thing here and up here. Yep. Um, let's measure right down the numbers, okay? I'll write down the numbers. Okay. It's important to note that I'm only consulting with Justin today. At the end of the day, only a very trained, board-certified plastic surgeon, myself, will be performing the procedure, and I would never compromise the care of a patient. By the way, do you want to see what this guy's got cooking underneath there? It's pretty yeah. amazing. <laughs> All right, twist my arm. I'll take off my shirt. So look, he's got hey. pec implants here. Pecs that These were are custom. not his muscles. Biceps. The biceps, also custom made. And this is the try, three-piece shoulders. And then I just did my back. The back looks, it looks good, it looks real. I could just stare at you all day. <laughs> For the most part, everything does look real, and he's actually really, really shredded. And I just feel very confident having Justin in that room with, with Dr. Debro. so I think two minds work better than one. So we're gonna try to form this on here. Yeah. It just like, it has to be a custom, and then you still probably have to custom in the operating room. Yeah. You're out of breath. This is the most exercise you've done <laughs> in years. He may look muscular, uh, but he doesn't like to exercise. No, I don't I'm trying exercise. to get him exercise. No gym for the last six years for me. Oh my, that's oh, crazy. I, I applaud your commitment of mine's in another realm. <laughs> Justin and I are making a mold to fill in what's missing in Albert's left chest. Once it dries, we'll send it to the implant company to allow them to make an exact 3D implant that will match the right side perfectly. Honestly, he he is my best shot at giving you symmetry mm -hmm. and the best result because you look what yeah, he's done on himself. The guy is the implant whisperer. You're the man. Oh, thank you. Oh, so my back. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>since I've started lifting weights. I fell in love right away with it. I never had that 100% confidence like I wanted to because it always felt a little uncomfortable for me not having my left side of my pecs, and now I feel like I can appreciate my body a lot more, so I, I, I couldn't be happier with, with what they've done for me. Albert's invited me to meet him at the gym. I'm literally allergic to the gym. I try to stay away from that place as long as I can. Albert! Hey, how's it hey, going? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Same here. How are you doing? Oh, you're great. Thanks for coming, man. I have invited Justin here today because he helped Dr. Debro customize my pec implant, so I wanted him to see his work, and I definitely wanted to thank him in person today. Wow, you look amazing. Yeah, it actually... It came out exactly how I wanted it. Albert's chest looks amazing. All of that thought and that time that I put in, really um, wanting the best for him, it came to fruition. Everything really came out so amazing. Do you mind? I'll can go. I, go. Can for I touch? <laughs> That's so cool. It's uh, it's actually half an inch thicker, and so it's bigger than my right side. Right, so. right. Because you wanted to be able to compensate a little bit for when you, when yeah, you built well, up your body a little more. I mean, are you happy with the way that oh, it looks? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's good. amazing to see the difference from what we had before. No, I know, it's crazy. Uh... Before surgery, the left side of my chest had absolutely nothing. Now both sides pack that punch that I've always wanted to have. I'm used to being in the gym six to seven days a week. Seven days a week in the gym? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, look at you. Like, I, look like I haven't been in the gym in like six years now. We need to get you doing some pull-ups today. Pull-ups? Um, we could try it. I think you, you I, might have to pick me up. I think you can knock out like, like five. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't think I can do pull-ups. I think you can. I think all my implants might slide out from under my arm. <laughs> Justin had told me that it's had been over six years since he'd been in a gym. So um, as a fitness manager, what better way to thank him would be by showing him the way of health and fitness. This is too high already. Do I need like a step stool? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about it. No, I try to get. I can't get up there. It's crazy. Justin is super ripped, and just because he looks good and healthy doesn't mean he actually is healthy. I just have the illusion of strength, not real strength. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. I don't know that I've done another pull-up in my life, so that wasn't really fair. But I tried it, uh, and I could even do one. I'm so excited for yeah, you no, that like you, so you can much. be able to move forward and like compete like you wanted to now. And yeah, I'm thinking maybe by the end of the year that should give me enough time. And I'm still determined to reach my ultimate goal. And without Justin and Dr. Dubrow, I wouldn't be here today.
I can't thank him enough for this. But your case was such a cool case. It was so different. I mean, the fact that you are a bodybuilder, so everything else was so accentuated. Thank so you so much. It was so a blessing much. for me, too, so I appreciate it. I'm gonna take my physique to that level that I've been talking about and step on stage and take that crown. Overall, I'm a 12 out of 10. Well, it looks really awesome. Yeah, no, like, I can't. I want to pat myself in the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So turn it up. Hi guys, it's Justin Jedlicka here again, the amazing human doll. And as promised, I'm back to show off to the doctor my eight-piece leg implant surgery. This is, this is like the last virgin section of my body to give up. Now it's all been touched. <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> last time that I talked with Dr. Debro and Dr. Nassif on our Zoom conversation, I told them what I wanted to do. So this piece will go over here, and then on the medialis piece, it's gonna go here. Obviously, we'll have top implants made for the lower leg, here and here. So eight piece implants, full leg augmentation in one hit. I don't think there's anybody more cutting edge than me. I'm Frankenstein and Dr. Frankenstein. Being a pioneer with body implantation, risks and complications are just something that come with that territory. I kind of get off on the fact that I'm doing things that nobody else has done before, that other people are scared to do. This is next level risk. Blood clots in the legs, lymphatic flow, infection, compartment syndrome. All those things are on the table. If you catch them late, ouch. Na, 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 na. Look what I did. <laughs> Even when they told me I couldn't, I still won. <sighs> It's been about four months since my legs seem to have been healed. I'm definitely on a high, and I just want to show off to the doctors. Checking in with Dr. Nassif and Debro kind of feels like checking in with your parents. You know, they tell you all things you're not supposed to do, and then you go do them anyway. But they don't have to love it, but they have to love you. It's feeling good now Remember Justin? Justin Jedlicka? Of course. I mean, who would have... Remember he was telling us he was going to have all that lower extremity surgery? What Still about the big like package the... he had that day? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying not to remember that, okay? Well, I did microneedling on my face and on my penis and scrotox. <laughs> Ouch! So I can show you from the front. Oh, I can! He's here to see us and show us the result of his eight leg implants. He did it? He did it. Can you please send in Justin and his package? <laughs> No way. Hey. The man, the no way. How you doing, boys? Good to see you. I love all. that muscle shirt. Thank you. It really shows everything. Look wow. at his quads. Yeah, the quads are a lot bigger. I gotta hear the story. <laughs> it's good to see you. Ah, good to see you. You look too. great, by the way. You really do. Thank you. You too. First of all, this is the kind of body that people would want to show off at the gym if it were made of real muscle. Do you go to the gym just so you can walk around and like work out? No. You still no gym. I haven't been in the gym in like 12 years. So <laughs> Remind us, you were gonna do medial quad implants, mm -hmm. calf implants. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. I flew all the way to Indianapolis. It was How a long lot. Did the surgery take? Five and a half hours. So, did you fly in with the implants or he had them? We made them together. We met in the middle somewhere on sort of what I wanted and what he liked. After the initial two weeks, my left leg, I said, I just think this pocket's kind of like too tight and the implant's not sitting flat. So he said, okay, well, I'm gonna cut you down here. We'll throw you in the OR. And they'll stick that rod, and he's like, I'll just rip it. The pocket was too narrow. Oh. So, so I did that oh. just under local. But this medialis piece kind of started giving me an issue after those two weeks. Like what? Uh, just pooling fluid. A little serum. It's yes. Okay. So we threw a drain in it. Right. But that didn't work. I said, what about that human fibrin glue that they have? Mm -hmm. it, it might act as the capsule and seal wherever it's not wanting to heal. Okay. And what do you everything's fine. What yes! do you mean? I use fibrin glue every week mm -hmm. in surgery. I'll use that to prevent bleeding, but not a seroma. In general, fibrin glue is a clotting mechanism and you would put a little bit, for example, and I'm doing a facelift. I lift up the skin, do my work, apply some of the fibrin glue, stick it back down, and it creates a nice bond between the skin and the deeper tissue. It seems like a novel idea to prevent seromas, which are a collection of fluid in the body around the implants. Very cool. How many implants do you have total? I think I have 25 implants now. One in your nose, the one. bridge. And then up here, you have? Anterior, yes. posterior, okay. lateral delt. Seven. Seven. OK. Bicep. I have bicep, tricep. OK, so 11. Terra is minor major as a single piece. 13. Two in the quad, and then two down That's below. That's 21. Wait a minute, six. Chest. 
Oh, about duh, my chest. Pets. <laughs> I totally forgot that I had done that. My back implants came out. So you had 25 down to 23. Are you done? Done? You're done. Uh, I think after this leg procedure, I might take about a year to myself <laughs> before I decide to embark on another big journey. But believe you me, it'll come. Let's get right to the meat, heart of the matter. Let's get back to the penis. <laughs> Did it increase in size? Listen, I mean, it's girth for sure, but to get length, it's super hard. I mean, the only thing I have, like a stretcher. Imagine like a choker, right? What goes around above your knee, just below where my implant is now. Right. There's a, like a bungee cord. And that, it pulls on that it? That goes and you attach it to the bottom of your penis Ow, and it pulls. Really? So you're supposed to wear that for a period of time until it starts to hurt. In my oh, opinion, you're stretching the God. ligament. <laughs> I know when I'm getting Paul for his birthday this year. <laughs> So listen, mm -hmm. two things. One, I'm so happy that even though you, we didn't want you to do the procedure, you did it <laughs> and really only had minor complications. But two, you must show us. You must. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Before we get to the reason you're here, remind us of what all this good stuff looks like. <laughs> all right. Got these. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Then there's yeah. this situation. It's so weirdly worked. Right? It came out good. That's because I designed it all. Yeah. You know Pretty that. brilliant, my man. You Look can't find these pieces anywhere. Listen, it's not. Throw my crazy yeah, creation. Not one malposition, not one that's moving around funny, nothing. No. It's not my cup of tea making all these implants, but he's a pretty smart guy and he really knows what he's doing. However, as he ages, how are those implants going to look? Are they going to get infected? Are they going to start to sag? Are they going to move positions? I just don't see Justin having these implants at the age of 65. Let's get to the meat. Of All right, let's get to the meat. Let's see. All right, here it comes. Ready? Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. OK. What is that thing there? Is that full of silicone? My, my quad. No, no, your penis. That's like about a huge baseball. You guys there. have just never seen the lower half of me, so you wouldn't really? know. It's hard not to get distracted by that bulge. It's like the 800-pound gorilla penis in the room. OK. Show, show us the light. So uh, where were the incision made for this one? All the way up here. Wow. So you have two. You have one here mm. and one there. there. That's the glued one. Don't bust her open. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> remember, we don't want, remember, <laughs> we don't want any. One. Where's the incision for this Those one? Those calves were tight. Stand flat. Stand up. Dude. Speechless. Thank you. Wow. That's what I was going for. It definitely makes me feel proud to have the doctors look at my surgery and give me the accolades that I've been searching for. Yeah, it feels good. You know, I must say, you look amazing. You really do. I'm so glad you. Well, you know, it's important for me to have like an innovator. I, I like all that. By the way, if yeah, if you we look up plastic surgery innovator in the encyclopedia, you're you're. Saying. I wonder what would happen if you actually had a package that big when you went home and headed with that. Uh, what would she say to you? Heather would say, "Let's renew our vows." <laughs>